I'm Dwayne Rolfs of Servants United Parish. I will be leading daily devotions with you. The basis for these daily devotions is from Christ in Her Home, a daily devotional series. The Bible readings are from the Revised Standard Version. For Wednesday, June 15th, our reading is found from the fourth chapter of Ephesians, verses 7 through 16. But each of us was given grace according to the measure of Christ's gift. Therefore it is said, When he ascended on high, he made captivity itself a captive. He gave gifts to his people. When it says he ascended, what does it mean? But that he had also descended into the lower parts of the earth. He who descended is the same one who ascended far above all the heavens, so that he might fill all things. The gifts he gave were, those, were that some would be apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, some pastors and teachers. To equip the saints for the work of ministry, for building up the body of Christ, until all of us come to the unity of faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God to maturity, to the measure of the full stature of Christ. We must no longer be children, tossed to and fro and blown about by every wind of doctrine, by people's trickery, by their craftiness and deceitful scheming. But speaking the truth in love, we must grow up in every way into Him who, who is the head, into Christ from whom the whole body joined and knit together by every ligament with which it is equipped, as each part is working properly, promotes the body's growth and building itself up in love. Word of the Lord. Truth plus love equal growth. But speaking the truth in love, we must grow up in every way into Christ. Verse 15. The preacher, I believe, is called to be a truth teller. This explains why there are some Saturday nights when I find sleep difficult. Preparing to speak truthful words can be unsettling. But sometimes the preacher needs to be told the truth. A parishioner called. She told me that as a person living with a disability, she could no longer worship in our sanctuary. The lack of space for a wheelchair and a narrow bathroom door had become barriers to her as an able-bodied person. I needed to be told the truth about how others experience life. Personal growth happens when truth is shared lovingly. Truth has the tendency to alter our world and introduce us to a reality bomb beyond our narrow experience. So whether it is a white person learning about racism from a black person, a selfish person being confronted by a loving friend, or a pastor discovering what life like for someone who uses a wheelchair, we are in the process of growing up in every way into Jesus. Our prayer. Holy God, expand our realities so that we might love others and become like you. Amen. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen.